topic questions. What is the issue? Who are the groups involved? What are they doing about it? And what are the solutions? Changing the design of the New Zealand flag. There are many arguments over whether it should be changed or be kept the same. The points for the parties on both sides are strong and are easily debatable, such as, for the people who want to change it, the flag is too similar to Australia's, it doesn't reflect New Zealand's independence, and it completely ignores the Māori population. However, there are equally strong arguments on the other side of the issue, such as, it has stood the test of time, it resembles a strong relationship between us and the United Kingdom, and changing it would disrespect those who fought under the flag in the wars. These opposing perspectives create constant conflict and therefore it is an issue, and I will explain why. Question 2. Identify the groups involved. The National Party and the pro-reform population. For the side wanting a change, the arguments are the national flag is too similar to that of Australia's and creates constant confusion as Prime Minister John Key is regularly set under the flag of Australia in international meetings. Some argue that it doesn't represent the independence of New Zealand, that the Anzacs fought for nothing in World War I and would rather be a sub-colony of the United Kingdom along with many others. The concluding point is that the Māori population and other groups of New Zealand are not present in the current design of the national flag. This suggests that the Māori are not significant to New Zealand and its history, which is completely untrue. The anti-reform population. Firstly, the national flag has stood the test of time and many New Zealanders feel very attached to the flag as it is a very significant part of the nation's history. Also, the current Union Jack represents a strong past with, in relationship with the United Kingdom. To conclude, many generations of New Zealanders fought under that New Zealand flag in both wars. Questions 3 and 4. Describe some solutions to the issue and describe the actions these groups are and are not taking. On the side for the flag change, these people are firstly coming up with many flag designs and ideas for the government to decide on. Secondly, John Key has recently been travelling throughout the country, visiting high schools and strongly influencing the minds of ad adolescent boys, girls and many teachers. On the side against the New Zealand flag change, these people are Firstly, in the recent 2015 polls whether we should change the national flag, the majority of the population decided to vote against the change of flag. Secondly, people such as Northland elders are speaking out to the Māori news on TV saying that we already have an appropriate flag. As far as the money is concerned, the government should only have one referendum with all of the flag designs instead of spending taxpayers' income on many more, costing so far $25.7 million.